Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be update number one to the Roulette Pan Collab. So this is the latest round of the Roulette Pan Collab that was started by Rebecca and I a few years ago now. And there are a ton of ladies that have jumped in so I will have my intro listed up here in the cards if you did not see that. As well as in the description box below and there will also be a link to a playlist with everyone's videos that have joined in in this fifth round and then as you can also go on instagram and check out the hashtag roulette pan collab and then you will find everyone who are doing this project on instagram as well but yeah let's just jump in to my update but before we get into that i just wanted to apologize that i haven't been able to get to all of the videos from the intros yet but hopefully i will be able to watch a lot of you soon it's just that yeah life has been not crazy busy but sometimes when you have like things that you need to do you find yourself not being able to like procrastinate with other things so like before when i was working i could like get home and then i had like just free time but now sort of all the time is free time and then i can't really relax a certain time and like watch youtube so hopefully i will get to you all soon but yeah let's just get into my update so i was actually not wearing i haven't been wearing as much makeup this last month so i don't think i have as much progress as i hopefully will have the coming months but yeah let's just get into it so the first product i'm going to mention is this estee lauder sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara and this was for a product I don't like, so I still don't like this. The wand is ridiculously huge, like it's as big as, like bigger than my eyes, so I always get it everywhere. But I'm actually happy that I have been able to stick to it because I've been able to like change my application technique a little bit so I don't get it absolutely everywhere anymore. So I do like it more now than i did when i put it in here but it's still like it's i still don't like it i just use it because i want to use it up so yeah i think this will be done maybe next month i feel like there's not a ton of product in here uh, so hopefully this will be done before next update then we have the category a product i received as a gift and for that i chose to go with the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette because I got that from my boyfriend for my birthday a few years ago and from that palette I chose to go with this eyeshadow which is called Got Milk and this is just a white eyeshadow and I use that to sort of highlight my brow bone and sort of blend out the eyeshadow and it does like it's starting to form a tiny bit of a dip uh, last time I think it weighed 6.6 .6 grams and this time it weighs 6.5 so it has lost uh, 0.1 grams of product so I have been using it but not as much as I should have I sort of forgot about this product, product like for the first two weeks of this month so hopefully I will have more progress before next time then for a product that is out of my comfort zone I put a poll in my intro and I got you guys to choose uh, or to choose which product uh, I should work on and the first alternative was a lipstick from a Urban Decay like lip palette and the other one was the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy and yeah we were unanimous we wanted to go with the MAC lipstick so yeah this is what it looks like now. I didn't like mark this on a paper, so if I can compare the pictures, I will. But I've been using it quite a bit since my lipstick roulette ended, so this is definitely something I can reach for every day. And I am mixing it with the lipstick that is in my uh, whole collection product tempan. So so far, I'm happy with the progress, and hopefully, I can maybe not use it up, but at least make like a good dent in this before this project is done. Okay, and then for a product in a palette, I chose like a bad product for me because I'm already panning <laughs> a bronzer. But this is the Smashbox Contour Palette and I chose the bronzer in here. So I only used it a few times this past month, ju past month just because I brought it with me when I went traveling. And I have used this one a few times as well, like the contouring shade. So this has lost 0.1 grams as well, so not much. But the, bronze, the other bronzer that I'm working is is almost done, so then I will start working on this one more. I don't know if you can see any difference in the picture, but yeah, there is a pan at least. <laughs> but it was a pan in the last 
when I put it in as well. And then for something I was am afraid to pan, I chose this Essence Effect eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow or like a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Brazil Sunset. But if you remember, I like wanted to swatch this one, so I um, yeah took off the cap, took off the cap, and then I was going to like squeeze it out on my hand, and then the top broke. So I decided to put this in a sort of jar like this and then I mixed it with some body lotion and some hand lotion and so now I have this sort of lotion right here which has some color to it as you can see like the lotion was white and then it's just the, the cream eyeshadow that has given it like the yeah, the color so I actually quite enjoyed using this product I use it if I'm wearing like a top like this I haven't put it on today but I, if, if I use like a shorter top, uh, the, I use it on my arms mainly and it gives sort of a little bit of color but mostly it gives sort of like a very a subtle sheen on my skin. So I have actually been enjoying using it and I'm really happy I like mixed it together. I've only used it like a few times because it's still really cold here so <laughs> I've actually only worn it to the gym because that's basically the only time that I wear like short sleeved top top short sleeve tops so yeah i'm gonna keep working on that one and the, as you can see from the picture there's not like a huge difference in the amount of product and then the last uh, category is a hair care item and for that one i chose this lanza healing moisture uh, leave-in conditioner and here is where i was last time and then i only used a tiny bit on this product so i just forget to use it so hopefully i will be better at using it like the coming month just keep your fingers crossed i just spray it in once i uh, get out of the shower so it shouldn't be too hard to make progress on it it's just that i forget to use it so yeah this month i'm going to use it more so yeah, that was it for my update and before we go I just wanted to ask you guys if any of you have been to Rome or if you are from Rome from in Italy uh, because I'm going there like next week and if you have any like tips on where we should go to eat or like which uh, tourist attractions we should go to please let me know down in the comments. But yeah, that was it for this video. Uh, don't forget to check out the playlist or the hashtag on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you like this project. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!